channel economics class from Shashitra. In this video, we will discuss about the canons of public expenditure. Okay. Canons of public expenditure. Very simple topic to be studied. Okay. Yes. According to Professor Shiraz. Shiraz, a well-known authority on the subject public finance. See, while incurring expenses, the government of the country must have to take into account certain principles certain rules certain criteria okay yeah in order to maximize the well-being of the community as a whole that is why here it is said the ideal of the see the first canon suggested by professor shiraz is the canon of Benefit. Canon of benefit. The ideal of this canon is to maximize social advantage or to achieve maximum social advantage to the community as a whole rather than a particular group of the society. Okay, and see by doing so, the government of the country should bring about or by way of incurring expenses, the government of the country should maximize the productivity of the economy as much as it can. Similarly, the government of the country should maintain sufficient army, sufficient police, judiciary, etc. to protect the citizens from external attack or external aggression and internal disorders or internal rebellion and thereby to preserve or keep harmony within the country. Similarly, see, by way of incurring expenses, public authorities must have to reduce the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth. That means, public funds should be so directed in such a manner that it should benefit more to the poorer sections of the community than the richer sections. And doing so, the government can see reduce the existing inequalities in the distribution of income and wealth. And lastly, the government of the country must provide greatest happiness to the greatest number. That should be the sole principle of the canon of benefit. Okay? And uh, the second canon of public expenditure suggested by Shiraz is the canon of economy. Canon of economy. Yeah. This canon requires the government of the country should be economical in spending money. According to Professor Shiraz, the expenditure policy of the government should be economical. Government should be economical in spending money. The government should not spend more than the necessary amount on the items of its expenditure. And 
the basic aim of this canon that is the canon of economy is to avoid the extravagance or reckless spending or and thereby to reduce corruption okay very simple and uh, the third canon of public expenditure suggested by professor shiraz is the canon of sanction yeah canon of sanction okay according to professor shiraz government of the country should not spend or government bodies should not spend more than the necessary amount similarly no expenditure should be incurred once again i told you see public expenditure should not be incurred without the proper sanction of the duly authorized person right yeah no government expenditure no expenditure should be incurred unless that concerned expenditure should be or has been approved or sanctioned by a duly authorized person okay very simple yeah the sole objective of the canon of sanction is to avoid a, see reckless spending by the government okay to avoid a corruption okay very simple and the canon of surplus yes what is surplus canon of surplus yeah the government of the country should not resort deficit budgeting okay it means that the expenditure policy of the government basically depends upon the concerned time or concerned circumstances of the country for example see if the country or if the economy is experiencing the period of inflation see surplus budgeting is desirable okay inflation we know it is a particular economic situation in which rising trend of prices okay entrepreneurs and business class as a whole prefer to invest more and more see day by day prices of the commodities and services has been rising profit will also increase okay and in course of time there will be a particular situation developed inside the economic system in which the employment opportunities generated exceeds the number of labor force of the economy that is what is called the inflation okay or boom in such a situation the government of the country should resort to follow surplus budgeting okay contrary to this supposing if the country has been experiencing the period of deflation or depression characterized by falling prices falling profit existence of large scale unemployment pessimism poverty misery etc in such a situation the government of the country should resort to follow deficit financing deficit budgeting that is the government of the country should spend more and more money in order to provide employment opportunities to the unemployed people when employment opportunities increases see income increases production increases demand for goods and services will also increases okay demand for goods and services increases and in course of time aggregate effective demand rises okay yeah and uh, supposing see the balanced budgeting is desirable in times of economic stability or full employment what i am saying is see the canon of surplus implies that see the government public expenditure policy of the government should be based on the concerned economic circumstances of the country if the country has been experiencing see inflation surplus budgeting is desirable if the country has been experiencing depression or deflation deficit budgeting is desirable again if the country is 
in a state of full employment, or stability, economic stability, balanced budget is desirable. Okay, and uh, another canon suggested by Professor Shiraz is the canon of elasticity. The canon of elasticity. By the canon of elasticity, Shiraz means the public expenditure policy of the government can be increased or decreased according to the concerned circumstances again. For example, suppose if the government wants to raise its expenditure or to finance unforeseen expenses in times of floods or natural calamities, see, the government expenditure can be increased only when the system is elastic. Public expenditure policy is elastic. If the government follows rigid expenditure policy, how can the government meet see, the unforeseen expenses, especially in times of pandemic, the present situation, pandemic, that is COVID-19, etc. Okay, in certain particular situations, the government of the country may have to face, may have to incur unforeseen expenses. Okay, and the government expenses, public expenditure can be increased or can be decreased according to the needs of the government only when the expenditure policy is elastic. Okay, and uh, the another canon suggested by Professor Shiraz is the canon of equitable distribution equitable distribution of income and wealth very simple see each and every item of expenditure should bring about yeah equitable distribution of income and wealth inside the economic system that should be the motto of the government okay we know there are two different uh, two main classes ready richer sections on the one hand and the extremely poorer sections on the other. Yeah, the motto of government should be to reduce the existing inequalities. Therefore, the government of the country should concentrate the welfare of the poorer sections, the upliftment of the poorer sections. Therefore, see, public expenditure should be so directed towards the promotion of the poor sections of the community rather than the richer sections and by doing so the government can the government can maintain or reduce the existing inequality in the distribution of income and wealth okay and the last or the seventh canon suggested by professor shiraz is the canon of productivity Canon of productivity. Okay. Yes. This canon requires that the expenditure policy of the government should improve the all round productivity of the economy. Public expenditure should be directed towards the upliftment of or the productive potentiality of the economy okay the canon of productivity implies that public expenditure policy of the country must improve the productive potentiality of the economic system as a whole okay there should be balanced economic development rather than sector wise or regional development yeah these are the canons put forward by professor shiraz a well known authority on the subject public finance very simple i think you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe my channel very simple at the very same time it is very important Okay, if you have any doubts, 
Okay, I will make it clear. Okay, thank you very much.